If you like hypocrisy, you're going to absolutely love this next story. Speaker Nancy Pelosi once called for a national mask mandate. She applauded restrictive lockdown measures in her home state of California, including the forced closure of countless small businesses. But last night, Pelosi was caught on tape inside a San Francisco hair salon, getting her hair done. And oh, about that mask mandate, her mask wasn't on either. Hair salons in San Francisco have been closed since March. For you, for me, and for everyone else, not named Nancy Pelosi. But today, instead of apologizing, Nancy Pelosi blasted the salon for, quote, setting her up. Apparently, someone forced her to make an appointment, and someone forced her to go to the salon, and someone forced her to get her hair washed and dried. It's all a big setup. Watch. I take responsibility for trusting uh, the word of a neighborhood salon that I've been to over the years many times and that um, when they said what well, we're able to accommodate people one person at a time and that we can set up that time I trusted that as it turns out it was a setup so I take responsibility for falling for a setup I think that they owe, uh, that this salon owes me an apology in a tweet, President Trump had a few choice words for the House Speaker, writing, quote, Crazy Nancy Pelosi is being decimated for having a beauty parlor open when others are closed and for not wearing a mask, despite constantly lecturing everyone else. We will almost certainly take back the House and send Nancy packing. Joining us now is Louisiana Senator John Kennedy. Senator Kennedy, before we get to Speaker Pelosi, I want to first ask you about how the residents of Louisiana are doing in the aftermath of Hurricane Laura. Well, thank you for that, Trey. Um, this is probably the worst hurricane damage I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of hurricane damage. Um, this storm practically knocked Louisiana into Texas. Uh, I was out all day yesterday trying to help my people, and I got in late last night, and I saw the story about uh, Speaker Pelosi violating the coronavirus rules that she has advocated for and that the rest of us mere mortals have to abide by in order to get her hair done. And I thought to myself, isn't this special? Um, despite the fact that it's against the law, Speaker Pelosi is getting her hair washed and probably getting a neck massage. And my people don't even have water. Um, the irony is extraordinary. But I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I'll be glad to explain why I make this statement. I'm not sure she can help herself. Well, yeah, I'm going to want you to explain that one. That one's too good, yes. Why can she not help herself? Well, Speaker Pelosi is part of what I call the managerial elite. Um, they can strut sitting down. I'm, you know who I'm talking about, Trey. The, uh, the, the uh, entrenched politicians in Washington, the bureaucrats, the media, the academics, the corporate phonies. Uh, they, they, uh, they live in the condos with the high ceilings and the important art on the wall. Um, I call them the shaved truffles crowd. They think they're smarter and more virtuous than, than the, uh, the middle class ordinary Americans. Uh, they're not, of course, but, he, but here is, here's the managerial elite, elite's message of which uh, Speaker Pelosi is part, to, to, the, uh, to the ordinary Americans. You're a bunch of morons. And, oh, and by the way, you're also a bunch of racists. Um, so uh, just shut up, uh, do what you're told, and periodically we, the managerial elite, will tell you what values and what opinions you have to adopt without debate because we are experts and we are intellectuals. And... Um, 
That's why most people think now that Washington, D.C. is the place where good ideas go to die. I'll add this one more observation, just my opinion. Uh, the, the managerial elite of which the speaker is a part, I know they think they're the smartest people in the room, but uh, if, they, if they're the smartest people in the room, it's the wrong room. Because if they ever get in charge, Trey, you know this, they're going to put America in the ditch. They're going to beat the crap out of America. And the American people don't deserve that. Senator, one reason I think that you're popular, not only in Louisiana, but also in South Carolina, is authenticity. And when I see that video, I see hypocrisy. Same with the mayor of Chicago telling folks they can protest, but not in her neighborhood. The same with elected officials that say you can't eat indoors, but I'm going to. Is there going to be a political price to be paid for hypocrisy? Well, Trey, you, you, uh, you make a good point. And, and um, I, I don't want to paint with too broad a brush. Uh, all, 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 all Democrats are not like, all, all Democrats are not like this, but uh, too many Democrats today, uh, they, they, they don't like ordinary Americans unless they're part of a specific minority group that they deem worthy. Um, and, and for most ordinary Americans, the, the members of the managerial elite of which Speaker Pelosi is a part, and I think Vice President Biden is too. They um, they, they just think that uh, that that we're all a bunch of uh, deplorables if we're not part of a specific group that they deem worthy, and they they don't respect the opinions of ordinary Americans, and and they don't like us very much. And I don't think Americans want to be uh, governed by people who look down on them. I know I don't. Senator, you had a distinguished career in the law before you joined the United States Senate. What did you think of her um, I was set up defense? And, and why is it so hard for people in politics sometimes to just say, I'm sorry, I was wrong? Why do you have to say I was set up? Well, the speaker makes my point. She, she, she thinks most Americans are morons and are going to believe that. Um, you know, when, when, uh, when, when people, ordinary Americans lie to Congress, you can go to jail. When members of Congress lie to the American people, it's called, po it's just politics. And that's, uh, that's, what, uh, that's what the speaker has done. She, she, she knows that's not accurate. She just got caught, but she actually expects the American people to, uh, to believe that excuse. Well, my experience has been the American people will forgive you for almost anything except lying. Um, we got about 30 seconds left. What can people that love your state but don't live there do to help you um, in the coming days and weeks? Uh, you can go to my, my website. Uh, Kennedy.Senate.gov. There are a number of ways you can help in terms of uh, uh, sending food, sending uh, prayers, sending uh, charitable contributions. Uh, we'll get through this. Uh, American, our, our Louisianians and Americans are tough as a boot. We're, we're, we, will, uh, we will show the American people what it's like to be an American. We understand in Louisiana that getting, you know, knocked down is not failure. Failure is not getting up. We'll get back up. Well, thank you, Senator. God bless you and everyone else in Louisiana.